you guys what's happening. So, must be having bad luck or something because last week my refrigerator stopped working, and this week my dishwasher doesn't try to run a load and it didn't start. And then I realized all that water in the bottom is not draining out. So, like the refrigerator before, I mean, these things are all basic. I mean, they're just like basic electronics. So, so when you have this situation, it's typically going to be like a, either a bad pump, a clog, it could be like a water level sensor, it could be a few different things, but the first thing you would normally do is like look for a clog. So I'm just going to take off that stuff right there, I'm going to pull these racks out, and get that open and see if there's a clog in there, or, I mean, like I said, it could also be a bad motor, bad uh, pump motor, so, who knows. Alright, All right, so I know my YouTube channel is kind of random. And, uh, I mean, I do, like, a lot of 3D printing, IT work. Well, I, IT is what I do for a living, but uh, I fix electronics, uh, crypto mining. But uh, the whole point of the FinTech Repair Shop was just uh, was a troubleshooting journal. You know, if you learn basic troubleshooting skills, you can pretty much fix anything. And as you see in my videos, I fix pretty much about anything. Cars, does make a difference. So it's all the same to me. Electronics, cars, whatever. All right, cool. So let's get this uh, torn open and get going. All right, a couple twists and that thing came off. And that, that's uh, clockwise, by the way, if you're not familiar with that. Usually, uh, it depends what direction this thing flows in, but they'll usually maybe have it the uh, reverse thread. All right, so it looks like there's a screen right there. This doesn't look clogged up, but I'm going to take the tube off. All right, All right so for my washer, it's a uh, TR20. Watch All this. right, so these things just come off right here. They just pop out of that. Two little clips on each side, one on the top too. There's a so once you get this, then you can twist this off like that. It just comes up, you can get this out of there. Alright. Alright. Okay, because you can't get that one screw right there, it's hidden underneath there. Under the filter. Wow, look at all that junk. It's everywhere. Yeah, it looks like it's just like hard water because it just comes right off. You can just, just, just peels right off. All right, so there's also a filter here like that. I right, use a little shot back to get this water up here. Alright, so I'm not sure if that's it, that stick right there, but that stick came out of the pump. There's actually like an internal, um, it's almost like a garbage disposal on this one right here. So I'm still going to take it off right here. There's a couple screws, but it's sort of like a mini garbage disposal in there, like with a cutting wheel. Alright, so the pump cover is a TR10. Alright, so my lift tab is already broken, so um, I'm used to grab it with a pair of things and just pull that straight up. And that's actually your little kind of like your mini cutting wheel right there in your screen. So if this thing doesn't spin, I know I have issues with the actual pump motor. You know, like if this thing was totally locked up, and I would know there was some, definitely something wrong with the motor. I threw this out my air compressor, and uh, so I'm going to put this back together, and uh, I'm going to try it back together. Just remember that's a reverse thread. And, uh, Here, click on start filling water. There it goes. You hear that? Filling water. So I'm gonna let it fill up and then I'm gonna throw some seal in it. All right, so I put a little seal in here. And the reason why I didn't put it in right, right away is because I didn't know what the thing was gonna do. I didn't know if what the pump was gonna turn on, it's gonna try to drain. So I didn't want to drain all my seal out. That's why. No, it's filling up. All right, we're gonna cycle. We'll come back when it's done. I think I'm going to let the CR soak for about an hour. Alright, there it is. That's the first cycle. I can put the stuff back in, but uh, yeah, I mean, it made a huge difference with the uh, CLR. Just getting the other gunk off. It's not going to get everything off, but you know, just <laughs> mainly wanted to get the stuff in there. So, alright, cool. I mean, obviously it worked because it drained. So, alright, awesome. Pretty simple. Alright, cool. Hopefully this helps somebody. Awesome.